Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyborn. At the end of the last episode, we were thrown in jail. Great job, Claret. Way to, way to start off an episode in jail. But anyway, let's talk with some of these people. Sheesh, a pure-blooded human, I see. What awful thing did you do to get thrown in here? There used to be more of us in here, but we keep disappearing. What's gonna happen to us? Uh, human? Why are you, what are you doing in here with us? Hm, your kind got us in here. If I could just give one shot at those skyboard bastards. We used to have a whole crew in here, and I thought maybe we could team up and take them. They've been plucking us away one by one. And we see somebody that we know! Claret! So I caught you too. I didn't think the Skyborn would throw a human in with us. A new low for them, I guess. Corwin! What's going on? Everyone I know is in jail now, it seems. You, me, Jake too! They said he was caught with a half-breed. Was that half-breed you? Uh, I'm sorry, Claret. I shouldn't have lied to you about it. It put you in danger. Hmm. Did Jake know? Yes, from the beginning. He was the one who found me, after all. A few years ago, you were hurt. He told me you've been attacked on the street! In a way, I suppose. I attacked myself. See how some of us have little half-wings? Half-breed in hiding will try to bind them close to the body to cover them up. My method was a bit more... extreme. Corwin, that's awful! Not as awful as a half-breed is treated. You think it's bad being a human, looked down on by Skyborn? Far worse is living as a mix of two races that despise each other. Part of both, and less than either. Which is a sad case just in... In general, it always seems to go that way, which is just... Just a shame. I didn't know. Everyone! Back away from the wall! Yeah, the, the cracks! This is just a weak wall. <laughs> yes! Explosion! Ah, oh, it's the Red Spectre guy! Awesome. Everyone, come with me, quickly! The guards will have heard that. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotta get out, like, now. Now, now. You're no half-breed. Yeah? They just threw me in here. It's the Red Spectre! The prisoners have escaped! Sound the alarm! There's an underground waterway that leads to the way out of here. Follow me as best you can while I get the others to safety. Alright. Fair enough. Let's see. Ah, I was wondering. Novice! Wow, you're just a novice. That's interesting. It's like you don't even have a class. And your class is just being... new. <laughs> Chi Blast! Magic damage. Oh, well, for a novice... Oh, like a novice... Not novice as in you don't know anything and you're new. Novice is in a novice spellcaster. Makes sense. Uh, silken Tunic, which I assume is better than the common Tunic. A little more strength, but that's not what he needs to be concerned about as a caster. I like that. Okay. Uh, prison break. The Red Spectre guy broke me out of jail, just like that Skyborn guy said. I really have no choice but to escape. Escape from the Grandminster prison, which is just what we will try to do. <laughs> uh... Level, block rate, critical. I just want to get a, a feeling for what Corwin does well. 
Uh, speed. Intel 67. Okay, so he is a magic caster. He doesn't know any skills yet, so he doesn't know like any actual spells yet, but he has a magic attack. So we'll start with that. Door? Good. Alright. Uh, branch of Life. We'll see what that is. Uh, miracle Herb. Also sounds cool. Uh, medical Herb. Cool. Medical Herb. And what do we have here? The Fancy Chest. A Ruby. Okay. Is there anything I want to add the augment on? Plus 10 strength, plus 10 strength, plus 5. Uh, we'll wait, honestly, and I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't use it. But uh, those of you that know know me and the channel pretty well, you know I wait with stuff like that. Um, let's look at some of these items that we got. Uh, Miracle Herb. Cure all debuffs. Cool. Branch of Life. Revise one character from KO. Okay, so these are your uh, Phoenix Downs of the game. And I apologize for any non-Final Fantasy fans out there, because I'll probably equate everything to Final Fantasy just because it is one of the most prestigious RPG franchises and what I grew up with. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hi! Alright, you both have 50% threat. Jeez, we really don't have a tank character. I guess, Claret, you, uh... Take the, uh... Take the hits, I guess? I guess the best way to do this would just to be to burn them down as quickly as possible. Attack! Oh, good. That went well. Not quite. Darn. Sniper shot, exposed weakness, man. No. We'll shoot you twice. Have corn. Finish that guy off. Goodbye. Good thing we got some healing items. Beforehand. Goodbye. Good dodge, Claret. Almost. And that does it. Not too bad. Uh, level up. Uh, six gold, 54 experience. Uh, 42 HP, one strength, three intelligence, one agility. Bye. Corwin, you're bleeding. Oh, right. Uh, you just, you instantly healed yourself with magic? Yeah, not very useful, huh? That is when I would punch you if I was in the game. What do you mean? Healing magic isn't useful. Punch! I would deck you. What are you talking about? This is essential. <laughs> what the? Healing sounds plenty useful to me. Yeah, you tell him, Claret. All other half-breeds have been able to manage at least a fireball or something. Best I could do is curl up on a ball, take a beating, and survive it. Um, super useful. Well, not the curl up in a ball, take a beating, and survive it. The survive it part. <laughs> at least it doesn't get me caught. Why would that not get you caught? True healing magic is a rare fluke. There's only one full-blooded Skyborn able to use it, so it probably never occurred to anyone that a half-breed uh, could as well. Huh. Well, y'all really fail, Skyborn. I'm just gonna say it right now. <laughs> if you, if a lot of you don't know healing magic. Can you heal other people too? Eh, maybe. Corwin! Aren't you... At all curious to find out what you can do? I'd be experimenting left and right if I had magic. Sheesh. I'd rather not have powers at all. Mm -hmm. Well, too bad. Feel free to practice on me if I get hurt. 
Uh, corn is now level three. Cure was learned. Yay. <laughs> Works for me. Cure, heal one ally. Excellent. We have a healer. <laughs> Everything is better with the healer. Now, one thing about Skyborn that I remember uh, reading when I was reading the description of the game before I bought it is uh, you can see the enemies on the map. So as you can tell, we just avoided the enemy. There's not random battles in Skyborn, uh, which is good, honestly. The random battle uh, system... Honestly, that's kind of the old way to do RPGs, and it's one of the few things in the old tradition that I don't like. I like to be able to skip battles if I want to. And so having the enemies on the map is handy. Now sometimes you still run into enemies and you still have to fight. But I feel it's a better system overall than random battles, because random battles can get very tedious if you don't want to fight. Let's say you're going back through an area, you're... Uh, just re-exploring for treasure or items or things of the like and you're constantly getting into battles well if you could see the enemies you have at least have a chance to avoid them that's just my two cents as i used to be a, a real big fan of the random battle system but it's one of those things that this this is a better system when the enemies are on the map and even some older rpgs have done that where the enemies are on the map and you can avoid them or not the earliest example I can think of is Chrono Trigger, one of my favorite RPGs. So, just my two cents. But we are going to take the fight because we need to get Clarette and Corrin some experience. I'm not going to cut these out. I want to show, as always, if you're new to the channel, you're just watching this RPG. I like to show off the fights because I like to give you a representation of how long the game is in total and I kind of skew that when I just go off on a tangent and talk but you get the idea rather than just cut out every single battle life drain that's cute goodbye <laughs> bats no big deal but still good exp 40 exp one more battle like that Claret will level up and corn will be close to so we'll take those fights. Well, well, look at that. Yeah, I saw it. It's shiny. <laughs> Looks like some iron ore. We should nab as much of that stuff as possible so I can craft us some gear. Sounds awesome to me. Grab. Iron ore. Ka ching So, um, how does this help us? Can't you be optimistic about anything? I'm really beginning to wonder. <laughs> Clarette, I'm really beginning to wonder. It's simple, really. I just need to find a forge. Oh, hey, look. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> Tutorial section. Ho! Jackpot. Well, then. I can make any kind of weapons or armor with ore. Looks like you could use some protection there, Corwin. Thanks, but I'm not really one for heavy armor. Nah, yeah, makes sense. It's more the caster type. It'll weigh me down. And you too, frankly. Psh, I can make lighter things too, like clothing or mail. Uh, clothing from iron ore? Yeah, I kind of questioned that one myself. <laughs> How does that work? Watch and learn, Kimosabe. Well, let's see. Uh, light, medium, heavy armor. Well, light. Head, chest, arms. Wow, you get all the options here. So, let's go back. Let's go through that again. Okay. Weapons or armor? Armor. Light, medium, heavy. Uh, light. Head, chest, arms. Uh, he already has chest armor, even though it isn't. It may not be that great compared to what she can make. Uh, arms. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4. Tier 1. Commoner's Gloves. Which Claret already has. But...
our good friend Corrin does not. So plus one strength, plus one int, plus one agility, plus four HP. Better than nothing. Good job, Corrin. <laughs> That's impressive. From iron ore, she just made gloves. Not heavy gloves either. We're not talking like iron gauntlets. Gloves. That's how talented our uh, mechanic is. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. Uh, another medical herb. Another medical herb. All that will come in handy. Fight. Uh, let's see. Iron slime. Okay. How good can you take the shot? Pretty well. <laughs> Much better than everything else so far. So, how about the magic attack? Didn't take the magic attack as well. So, being an iron slime, it takes physical attacks better. But not magic attacks. Now, the only thing that's in Clarette's favor is we gave her two magnums instead of that one gun. So, she gets to fire twice. And both level up. Uh, Claret plus 38 HP. This is going to start to get hard at some point doing the math. Plus one strength, plus two intelligence, plus two agility. At some point, I'm going to butcher the math and look uh, look like a full on air. But that's okay. Y'all will get to laugh at it. 41 HP, two intelligence, and that's it. Cleanse, regenerate. If you just learned to reach and spell Corrin, you're awesome. Grants all allies regen. Expensive. But, not complaining. Regen is usually handy in an RPG. Uh, there's a... F well, I say usually, there's a few times where it... It's too weak to really help, but... More often than not, regen is really good to have. Uh, cleanse. Wipe any debuffs clean from one ally. Good, good. Let's uh, try out Cure. Nice. And it takes three. So it says percent, but since he just has a hundred, it'll take however much. However much. So three, four, or 18. And it healed all that, so it heals at least close to 200. Okay, free EXP. Um, there's another enemy. What's this button do? <laughs> Ooh, what's this button do? Anyway. Hi! Alright, Corwin, come on. Yes, good! Those levels, you can start to see. And you took the hits instead of Claret. Wow, you actually out outdid uh, Claret's threat. Is it just because you're killing the enemies, maybe? Yeah. That's okay. At least you can heal. And it's nice we can use it out of battle as well. And Corrin levels up again. Debilitate. 42 HP, 1 Strength, 2 Intelligence, and 1 Agility. So finally got uh, some stats in the other other areas. Cure. Uh, debilitate, 24. Magic attack that cuts one enemy's strength and speed by 50%. Handy. It'd be really handy, especially if it can work against a boss. Then we're really talking. Ah, that button opened up this door. What's in the fancy treasure chest? Sapphire Bracers. Okay. Plus three MP regen. Well, I know exactly who gets that. <laughs> no, uh... Well, now I feel bad for making the gloves. Should have made a piece of headgear. Darn. But I'd much rather have the plus three MP regen. Hooray. 
that'll really come in handy. Because you got to think, that's a cure. If it gives him plus three, if it works like that, like it's a straight plus three, that's, that's a cure. Hit, incapacitated. Yeah, when you kill an enemy, you get a lot more threat, which makes sense. There we go. Simple. Napalm. That sounds promising, Claret. Sounds very promising. <laughs> uh, 35 HP, one intelligence, one agility. Sounds very promising. Napalm, 22. Tech attack on all enemies. Inflicts burning. I would hope so and inflicts burning. Probably acts like a dot or uh, damage over time. Hello, you're new. Orc Whelp. So you're not even like a full-fledged elf. Well, since... Orc. <laughs> uh, since... We just got a new move. And there's three enemies. Napalm. Oh, yeah. I even like the look of that. Cool. Can you finish off that enemy? Not quite. 50, 50, 39. Not bad. I want to napalm again. It's cool. I like that. Good, good. 9 gold, 70 EXP. Nice, Claret. Now, if you want to go more offensive, like you really like Napalm, you can give the Sapphire Bracers to Claret. Just want to point that out. But, I'd rather the healer have it. I'm more of a defensive player like that sometimes. Uh, crystal water crystal water and if you don't remember restores 35% of MP out of battle so it can be pretty handy uh, oh, we need to find a locked find the red switch to open this door thanks game I appreciate you <laughs> telling the player hey you need to find the red switch for the red door instead of just being locked and not telling the player what to do. Uh, new aids. Eight legs. Big spiders. Uh, let's see how well you can take some shots. Pretty well. Okay. Venomous claw. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Ah, no. No. Yeah, I'd have angry face too, Claret. Like, why did you crit me? Yeah, uh... I'd be feeling the same way. Go away. Cure? Yeesh. It, not as much as I would like. Uh, guard. <laughs> plus 5 MP, plus 6 MP. So that's how that's breaking down. Cure? Crap, I can't believe he crit. Uh, you could go again, but we're gonna hit that way Claret can. Poison! Great! Let's finish this battle and see if it persists after battle. This will be our first status effect. No gold! Thanks, spiders. A uh, lot of experience, though. 112. So, let's find out. It doesn't look like it. Ooh, what are you? An emerald. Okay. Yeah, if it's shiny, click on it. That's... <laughs> that's that's a... Uh, typical RPG thing. <laughs> um... Emerald. Uh, adds agility. Interesting. Quite a bit of agility, too. 15, 15, or 10 if it's an armor. Hmm. Huh.
That's quite a bit of agility. And I wish I could see exactly what each stat stat did. You don't have to give me exact percentage or, or anything, but strength adds more to damage. Intelligence adds more to magic damage, maybe skill damage, uh, agility, speed, evasion probably, but then you have to ask yourself, does agility add to crit? Which it probably does, but you never know. Uh, you begin to ask those questions, and you don't know exactly what to put each augment into. I did not mean to do that again. <laughs> Meteo two times, not three. It's just little things like that. Uh, just a little more information could be handy. Especially since the augments, you can't take them back. <laughs> Venomous Claw again. There's Poison. At least there wasn't a crit this time. That crit did almost three times the normal amount of damage. That is really dangerous. And the Poison's pretty dangerous too. How much did that do? 73? That's no joke. Now I could just cleanse it, but since the effects are gone after battle I just want to heal through it and get more out of out of the healing and since we're getting MP back while we're fighting it'll it'll benefit more at, in the end uh, Corrin levels up 42 HP 2 intelligence and that's it magic barrier Mm-hmm. Is there a Okay. I was wondering if there was a way I could I could switch the menus. Uh the excuse me. The Q button will let you switch between characters. So that's handy. Uh magic barrier. Increase all allies magic resist. Uh that'll be handy for enemies that uh do a lot of casting. Violet Koretz almost got that MP back. <laughs> yeah, Napalm wasn't... Uh, Napalm isn't cheap, and... Take Koretz some time to, to get that MP back. Bye. Okay, Iron Ore. You make other pieces of gear. And honestly, it may not be a bad idea to head back to the forge and make the gear. Just a tip. Uh, red button. Come on. keep hesitating right after that because I think like there'll be a sound or something <laughs> uh, for enemies I'm definitely gonna take advantage of napalm here burning interesting One fifty thirty-eight critical <laughs> it didn't hit hurt like the uh, ridiculous venomous claw Napalm again. There's the burning damage. Double strike, so two hits. Cure Claret, and that's that. It seems like the status effects tick on whenever that character goes. Uh, no moves, but uh, 37 HP, 1 strength, 2 intelligence, 2 agility. 1 strength. Hope I said that. Let's see. With that, I guess we head back to the room. 
Not a hard little dungeon we're in. Hmm. See, stairs down. It's a good look around. Uh. Is it there? Uh, a blue door as well there. What do we have up here? Uh, all HP and status restored. Neat. That's really good, and that really makes it sound like there's a boss up there or something. We're not going to head that way yet. There's still more to explore down here. And it didn't look like that space got used up either, so we're going to take advantage of that. Still going to get in the habit of, of casting Cure, but... Uh, if that spot doesn't go away, definitely take advantage of it. Don't be afraid to really cast spells like Napalm and refilling Claret's MP. Like now. <laughs> Funny that I say that. One enemy. Uh, why don't we try regenerate? I'm interested how much. Not bad. About as much as the cure? Napalm again. Okay, not quite that much. The first time you cast it, though, you get a... You get a nice boost out of it. Not quite as much of a cure as a cure, but... It is, it is a nice amount. Let's see, 78. Let's see if I can figure this out. I can't quite see how much it is for Corwin because of the, uh, the menu pop-up. Uh, Corwin reaches level 7. 41 HP, 1 strength, 2 agility, sorry, 2 intelligence, 1 agility, Innervate. Let's see what that does. As the caster, he's learning a lot of skills, which isn't uh, surprising. Grant 1 ally, Innervate. Plus 10 MP regen over time. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to see Claret's HP. 774. If I could see how much Corwin was getting, it may be 10% of your HP. Maybe. Uh, let's go downstairs. Come on. Hello, uh, Apparition Bones. Okay. Oh, wow, you took that really well. Um, Magic Barrier. Magic resist up. Debilitate, cute. Having her, uh, attack. But we're not gonna have that. Let's see. Let's try Napalm. At least they're burning. Quite, I figure you would be a caster, which is why I casted the uh, magic barrier up. In fact, let's get rid of you. You're annoying. And we'll cleanse. Equalizer, magic resist, up uh, minus. So, got rid of it. Yeah, that may be a, a remove buff attack of his own. Innervate! Let me get Claret, uh, some MP back. Oh, and then he removes Innervate. Cute. Makes sense. Should have seen that coming. He already removed one, one buff. 58 EXP, 12 gold. Not bad. What's down here? Because it seemed like you were really guarding the way. Hmm. Another blue door. Darn. Okay, let's head up this ladder. Here we can find... Aha! Blue switch. Excellent.
All right, let's do some exploring then. That blue door opened up quite a bit. That blue switch. One metal ingot. This item can be used to augment weapons and armor. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Reign of Rejuvenation. Sounds awesome. Restores 33% HP of all characters. That'll really come in handy. I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, an ether and 20 gold. Cool. Restores 50% MP of one character. That was in the shop. Oh, nobody leveled up. Oh, great. And napalm again. Get, get the most out of it when it hits a lot of characters. Double strike. Dodge. Napalm! Okay, Corwin. Innervate. We'll get rid of... Or try to get rid of you. Yep. Plus 15. Yeah, it, it gives a full plus 10 to the amount of, of MP that character gets back. That is just huge. And then he died by the burning. <laughs> she was getting 15 MP back. In long battles or really boss battles, it'll be great to have Innervate on uh, Corwin himself so he could really cast. And Claret, if you want to use Napalm a lot. Diamond Ring. I'm not going to find it here. <laughs> An ex our first accessory. Plus 250 HP. We're going to give that to Claret because right now she can really get the threat, especially if Corwin starts uh, heals a lot and she's the one doing damage. So she could definitely use the extra HP. Uh, skill. Cure. Again. Okay. What's that? Let's see. That was the other blue door. We just uh, walked around, but there's also a green switch here. Okay. All HP status restored. We're going to save. Here we go. Oh. Ah, shocked. That let us out. Locked. Aha! I see the uh, Skyborn. Out there. Hmm. Can we climb back down here? We sure can. Where does this lead us? Crystal water. Ginger ale. That's new. Red Delicious. Ginger Ale restores 50% MP out of battle. That's not bad. But... As I climb over, as I move over here, I'm going to end this episode here. And I'll save again, just in case. Uh, next time we're going to continue exploring the... I guess sewer area? <laughs> Not quite sure but how to, how to put it, but uh, we're going to continue our escape from Grandminster Prison. There we go. And, uh, see, see what other things Claret and Corrin could get into. Not the best of luck so far, but we found some good items, I think. We found uh, sapphire bracers, the diamond ring, 
uh, those big treasure chests are, are really worth opening. That's the the point. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this episode had a lot more of the combat, which I was uh, pleased to see. That way we could really get a feel for it. More in the first two episodes. So I really hope you enjoyed. And until the next episode, I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.